Uh, in this video clip, I'm going to talk about how to calculate wave period and wave frequency and give the uh, format for solving a quantitative type problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a wave. So here's my reference line. And then I'll draw my wave. And for this one, since it's quantitative, I'm, I'm going to give a time here for this wave. So I'm going to say this time is... 10 seconds. It tends, takes 10 seconds for this wave to move across here. Okay, 10 seconds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find two things. I'm going to find the period of the wave, which you recall from our previous video was the capital letter T, and the frequency of the wave. So in a quantitative type format problem, I do three things. I list the equations I'm going to use, I list the variables, what I know, and then I'm going to solve. So the equations. So for the period, the period is actually the time that passes for the number of waves. And the frequency is the number of waves divided by how long it takes to do it. And as you can probably see here, they're inverses of one another. They're just flip-flop, in which and there's actually an equation that relates the two. So variables, I'm just gonna write down everything here. Number of waves. And the frequency. Everything that I Um, need to solve for us. So let's see. T is the period, and we're trying to find the period. So that's how long it is for one wave. Um, the time is a time for all the waves. So let's see. I have, let's see, 10 seconds. So I told you that. So that's 10 seconds. The number of waves. So let's see. How many waves do we have? So I, I'm going to start here at the beginning and just trace and count the waves. So here's one wave. Here's two waves and three waves. So I have three complete waves. So the number of waves is three. And the frequency is what I'm also trying to find, so I don't know. So if I don't know it, I just put a box here. Don't know, don't know. So let's solve here. So for the period, it's the time per wave. So I have 10 seconds, and I have three waves. So that's three point Three, three seconds. I need to box your answer. And the frequency, let's see, is the number of waves per time. So let's see, I have three waves, and it's 10 seconds. So if you take three divided by 10, you get 0.33 hertz. So that's the frequency, so I'll box that answer. So let's take a look at this. Let's see if it makes some sense. So the period, capital T, is 3.33 seconds. That means there are, what is that? That's a number of time per wave. And let's see here, if I have 10 seconds and I have three waves, each one of these waves would take about 3.33 seconds. And if you add it all up, that's about 10 seconds. So that's the time per wave of the period. The frequency is the amount, the number of waves per second. The amount of waves per second. So if I have, let's see, this is three seconds, so a third of that's over here, right about there. There's a half a second, quarter of a second, third of a second is right about here somewhere. The frequency is it says 0.33 waves per second. So I get about a third of a wave. i break this wave up into three parts. A third of the wave in a second. So those are some calculations you can do to solve for period and frequency uh, of a wave.